What's up my people and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how I use the camera raw filter in Adobe Photoshop to color grade and change this image from looking like this to this in few minutes. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is to open your Adobe Photoshop and then import your image like this. So when you have the image here, now let's um you can go ahead and make a duplicate of the image you want to color grade by pressing on ctrl plus g on the keyboard to make a duplicate all right that way you can have um multiple layers to work on you can work on this one whilst keeping the original one or you can also convert the image to um smart objects so that all the um changes that we will be doing won't affect the image directly just in case you want to make changes in the future. With that being said, now we can go ahead and then open our camera raw filter by going to filter and then click on camera raw filter here. Alright, now that we are in the interface of the camera raw filter, come here and then right click on this guy and then select the second option which says before, after, left and right. So you are going to have the before and then the after, alright. Now the first thing we want to look at is the basic option here. So click on the basic, you are going to have a drop down arrow and you are going to have all of these um, options here. We have the temperature and the tint slider here which controls the temperature of the image. So you can see that when you move the slider, the image um, changes depending on where you are moving the slider. Alright, now I'm going to keep it at zero. And the tint also does the same thing all right but you're not going to do anything to these two the temperature and the tint now let's come back to the exposure contrast highlights and these um, options here now the exposure the contrast we highlight all of these options here controls the brightness of the image all right so if you should move the um, exposure down like this the brightness is going to be off and if you increase it you're going to have a higher um brightness all right let's keep it at zero and then the contrast also um works with the exposure all right then the highlights also um controls the um the light areas of the skin tone so we are going to see that if i should zoom in a little bit and then we decrease the highlights you realize that all the the brighter area on the picture or of the picture is gone and if i should increase it i'm going to see all of it back all right so let's keep it at zero and then the shadows also controls the darker skin tones of the image so in this um video we are going to change the exposure i'm going to move it a little bit to somewhere um let's say this is too much let's keep it at um yeah to add brightness to the picture and then let's head over to the contrast and then increase the contrast as well to also help the exposure and then let's come to the highlights and then let's increase the highlights all right we want the bright um skin tones to show so let's keep it somewhere here then let's come to the shadows and then increase the shadows as well a little bit and then the whites also okay let's we don't want the image to look dark or dim so let's increase the whites to somewhere um here that's good for me and let's move on to the blacks all right now when you increase the blacks it's it's going to um take away the shadows of the picture so let's add shadows instead of increasing it let's decrease the slider so we're going to move it to not too much but somewhere here is okay so that the shadows or the blacks right stays intact now let's come down and then you're going to have texture clarity and then um this option here these three panels here also controls the texture of the image so what we are going to do is that let's see if we can add some texture to it all right let's let me see okay this is too much texture 
let me keep it at um, 10 is okay then clarity um okay maybe you should just leave it at zero all right and then let's keep the dh at zero as well all right now we have the vibrance and then saturation options here it also controls the color of the picture that you are color grading and so if you should move the vibrance a bit forward like this you're going to get the color of the image you are color grading popping and then let's come to the saturation and then add uh let's start coloring okay this is good all right these two panels here help the image or the colors of the image to pop more all right now let's move on to the next one which is the curves so let's click on this guy and then click on the curves then make sure you select point curve all right and then let's move the slider if you move it down like this you are going to have a dimmer picture but we don't want it looking dim so let's move it up just like this and then bring this down a little to balance everything okay i think this is good just like that all right good and the next thing you're going to do is to come to the color mixer option here color mixer adjustment here controls the colors in the picture you are color grading so we have red orange yellow and a lot a lot of colors here all of these represents the colors that is available in the picture you are color grading and so you have red which is kind of the lipstick it's looking kind of red and so if you should adjust the red you're going to see that the lipstick changes all right so let's keep it at zero now let's come to oranges then adjust the oranges to let's say um minus 15 like this so the oranges actually affect the skin all right you don't want it to no this is this is not good so let's keep it natural somewhere like this is okay then the yellows too you know the grass is yellow let's also keep it somewhere um like this okay this is okay for me now let's come to the saturation and then with the reds let's show the saturation and the luminance um you use them to adjust the colors under the hue so let's say the orange is minus five then it comes to saturation then you use the saturation for the orange here to adjust the orange in the hue i believe we are getting what i'm saying all right so let's keep the reds at um let me see okay not 100 but somewhere here because we want the lipstick to show okay 75 is okay we want the lipstick to be a little bit different from the entire skin color all right then let's come to the oranges and then give it um let me see okay this is too much let me keep it here um 20 or 21 is okay and then the yellows let's give it no, not too much like this is okay for me all right now from here let's come to detail you can go ahead and then add some sharpness to the image and then the image will look sharp all right so let's keep this let me see mm, 80 so you use this you use the sharpening option here when the image is not all that sharp all right when the resolution of the image is not that good then you use the sharpening option here you can also use the noise reduction which goes hand in hand with the sharpening option here so let me keep the noise reduction at 50 and then okay let's keep this mm, we can just leave this at zero all right let's leave this at zero so okay we've worked on the color mixer let's come to split toning here and then let's see what we can do here we have highlights you have shadows um 
all right let's leave this untouched and then come to calibration and then come to you know we have shadows we have red primary we have green primary and then blue primary but if you are if you should look at the image you are color grading very carefully you are going to see that the image falls under the red primary so let's increase the hue under the red primary let's see okay not too much um let me see a plus of five maybe it will do and then the saturation let's see what we can do should also be five right we just keep it at plus five all right good and if you want you can go ahead and then play with the rest of the options here but for the sake of this tutorial the options that we've used or the changes that we've made is good for me now you can see that there is a very huge gap between the image at the left and then the image at the right and this is exactly how you use the camera raw filter to color grade images in adobe photoshop so you can go ahead and then click on ok good now we have our image looking so beautiful so if i should turn off the changes that we did if i should turn it off this is the before all right before we did the color grading and this is after we did the color grading good so you can go ahead and then save your picture until i come your way with another tutorial video peace